50 quid a night gets you. Sofia, Bulgaria. Pretty decent room actually. Spacious. Clean. Let's have a look at the shower. Accessible shower. Yes, yeah, pretty decent, pretty clean. Continuing my record with Bulgarian hotel rooms. The view is absolutely rubbish. But that doesn't matter. We're not here to look out the window of a hotel room. Just a quick add on to the room tour. There is a little TV which won't get switched on by me because I can't understand anything they'll be saying. And there is a small fridge with a mini bar. Just around the corner from Hotel Nikki is Sofia's famous pedestrian street, Mitosha Boulevard, named after the imposing mountain that stands guard over the city. A bustling hub of shops, cafes and restaurants, this walkway feels like the vein, pumping life into the heart of Sofia. At one end, to the south, is the National Palace of Culture and the sprawling public grounds that surround it. Walking the other way leads us to the northern part of the city centre. Crammed with interesting architecture, churches and mosques, the area is also home to the remains of a former Roman settlement known as Serdica, from which the area takes its name.
With the cloak of darkness about to fall over the capital, it was time to find some food. The Sun and Moon Cafe is highly recommended. Let's find out why. going on YouTube about halfway through the trip now in Sofia uh, supposed to have a guide today but she seems a little bit flaky she's changed times and switched things around a bit so not convinced she's gonna show up today probably just gonna be me walking around getting lost seeing what cool stuff I can find uh, and eating some good food again the food has been very good this evening I'm booked on a pub crawl uh, which is probably a terrible idea given the fact I have a flight home tomorrow evening But uh, nevertheless, we'll see what happens Check in later everyone I'm currently back in England unfortunately if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more adventures speaking of 2023 there is lots planned already uh, in February I will be heading to Portugal in March I will be back in Bulgaria for the third time and in April I will be on a tour across Montenegro, Albania and the Greek island of Corfu. Keep an eye out for those adventures on the channel unless of course you're watching the video retrospectively and in that case there should already be some for you to watch. See you in Porto.